Really gotta clean up this workbench. All right, well, see if that's all it works. Very abrupt. Jumping on in. I wanna see if this all works again. Maybe I'll assemble something. parts together. I need for this thing. Hopefully I can build this without totally destroying it. That goes like that. This is going to take a bit of finagling. I'm also streaming right now just to see if the equipment all still works. I'm going to need a meter. Yeah, I got to get my, um, I got to get some stuff working again. Probably gonna be a real boring, quiet stream as I try to get all this stuff working again. I haven't streamed since this past summer. I don't even know if all the equipment still worked. We get batteries charged. Try to get things to work out. Try to build an RC 2014 Wi-Fi module. We'll see how I can do with that. I need some resistors. I need some headers. Little capacitors. We'll see how this goes. Workbench is kind of a mess. I really need to build a bigger workbench in here. So I actually have room to like do stuff. I don't really have much room to do stuff. Alright. What do I need? I need a button. I found the button. I found the ESP8266. The voltage regulator somewhere here in my magical box of parts. Need a couple capacitors. One is a 7UF. Leave the striped faces down. 
Oh, but I should solder in the voltage regulator before I do anything else. I was watching someone else assemble this earlier today, and uh, voltage regulator first is a good tip. I can remember where I put that dang thing. There it is. I'd like to someday get a microscope or something to better view this kind of stuff or better share this kind of stuff. I should probably tin this pad a little bit before I get that in. I would like some different tweezers too. Out the way for now. I have the wrong soldering tip for this, also. There we go. I just kind of want to get this voltage regulator on there and uh, back down. she tacked down. Not too many parts of this board. I probably should also get a finer soldering tip on this. I have this giant ass chisel tip right now from when I was doing something else, but I am half-assing things right now. I've been doing some uh, PNC milling in here, and uh, got sawdust all over the place. So of course this thing is covered in sawdust. And that's unfortunate. That's not for any needle nose pliers. They're all the way over there, aren't they? I also rearranged things in here recently, so I barely remember where I put everything. I'm looking for needle nose players. I've got them around here somewhere. No, oh, that's my like lineman players. Yeah, they're probably good enough. Soldering iron is on and hot right now, and I want to change the tip anyway. It's not the night, which is not the smartest thing to do, but oh well. This chisel tip is a bit too extreme right now. finer tip. Man, 
funny. I don't remember where I put a lot of my stuff. Alrighty. We can get back at this. Planer tip, anyways. Alright, what else do we need? We'd like to get this uh, ESP32 or ESP8266 soldered in there. Which um, goes right here. This is not the best camera either. I should be able to get a better camera view. Mm, but that's okay. I wonder if I could um, clip this down and stabilize it while I tack a few of the castellations in place. It's a little weird because the like the white bit here that looks like it should be the footprint is a little off kilter. We can't go by that. He's maybe a helping hand here. I can get this bugger in there. I can stabilize the um, module, and I can tack a few points down. How helpful of a hand are you going to be? That could be. Come on, stay put. Okay. If I get this just right. Hopefully I can nudge some solder in there without bridging anything I don't want bridged. And that looks pretty good. I've done one of these maybe twice before. And it can be a pain. If I can get a couple Castellations down. And it's pretty well fixed in place. That's probably pretty good. These things are annoying to solder. Hopefully I don't bridge anything underneath it. Which that's always fun.
very uh, professional testing here. Just trying to see on the pads on the bottom here if I've managed to do my job. Seems like. Wild Copper. I see how this has worked. So I put solder... I, I kind of soldered it flat to the circuit board, and the solder flowed through a via, it looks like. Through to the bottom of the board. It kind of filled the hole and anchored the board. Now I could probably do better. Yeah, make sure the connections are there. Yeah, it seems pretty happy. So they can see solder from the top. It's filled all the way down to the bottom, so hopefully that means I've done the needful. Thank you, glasses. kind of trying to make sure each of these pins has a good connection because they're not even pins, they're just pads and we're bridging solder down to the bottom. And it's physically awkward to test this. I'm kind of trying to focus on the pad on the component and Make sure it's gotten through to the bottom, which is probably fine. I just never soldered this kind of thing more than twice, so... I like to be sure. But yeah, it does look like I've managed to get solder through all the little holes and castellations, which I think are and virtually the same as pins. It's a weird kind of pseudo-surface mount, I guess. And the beeping, I guess, is kind of because my hands are a little shaky when I'm trying to do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got any weird shorts? I trust some of these joints, which is, I guess, why I'm testing. You can't see that at all. Let's do that. Give it a little more. It's been a month since I last streamed. Still trying to remember how to do this stupid thing. Pins the back. Uh, 
Probably don't need to be so meticulous, I guess, or so worried about this, but... I'd rather do this now than scratch my head at why it's not working later. Okay, well that's good. Yeah, this camera is just not a good placement. But anyways, what I was trying to do is, so I got this thing soldered in there very roughly. And I noticed on the bottom, yeah, I pretty much filled all these, I guess, vias. So that, this is pretty well soldered in there. Okay. That was the hardest part, I think. Um, I got a voltage regulator soldered in. I got um, some resistors to solder in. I got this uh, PCB vise that I 3D printed. I'm hoping it ends up being handy. Probably not as handy as I'd like. It's a little annoying. Um, all right, well, I need more components now. Uh, I got a button. I believe that button goes right here. Well, these things are rather uh, color-coded since I got the uh, pride version of this kit. Yeah, I can just side of that in right away. I'm hoping to at least get this board done because I got the rest of the machine working. It'd be cool to get onto it over Wi-Fi. Hopefully I'm not uh, putting this in and backwards. But yeah, it's been since last summer that I last tried to do any of this. So this is just kind of, I said, I was thinking, screw it, let's get down to it and start trying to do it again. I got a couple LEDs, of course. Okay. What are those real quick? Just kind of bending the leads of those so that they kind of stay fixed in place. There are better tools for all of this, but I don't have them on hand right now, so... Grit. I'm also pretty sure I got the right legs in the right uh, spot. I don't have the LEDs in backwards. Trusting past me who uh, put those in there. And if past me screwed it up, well, then future me is sad. But yeah, I'd kind of like to at least get this board done before dinner, which is in uh, about a half hour. I might do some more of this tomorrow, who knows? Okay, LEDs are in there. Now we need some resistors. And let me get the capacitors in there first. Let's see, I need, I got a box of parts here. I'm gonna put the, uh, oh, there it is. Never mind. I need a um, 47 UF, yeah, it's a 47 UF. It's 22 UF, so there's my 22 UF. Um, yeah. I believe the stripes go that away. 
I'm also looking at a picture of this board. I'm a monitor right here. I'm not quite going from nothing. Oh yeah, I forgot. I also got to solder the header onto this thing. That's going to be the longest part. Oh well. Okay. We got some resistors we're going to need. They're labeled on the board, but... Um, I don't really trust myself. Maybe I'll put uh, some of the simpler parts in first. We got um, some headers that want to go in here. I don't have the color that matches this board though, but it's probably okay. Hmm. Got buttons stuck in my thumb. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. We got some. Uh, I already used it on another board. I'm looking for a header that can go here. I don't think I've got readily available. Unless it's in this other bin. Possible. Well, I can solder these capacitors in real quick while I'm mulling over finding other parts. I definitely need to revisit my uh, my workbench setup for streaming. And all I'm doing here is just kind of snipping off these leads. So it's one less thing that dangles around. I got a button, I got some LEDs, I got a uh, voltage regulator. I'm curious what some of this other stuff is. There's like jumpers for running different programs, and there's uh, headers over here. So those are, maybe I need to use the yellow ones for this board, because I don't have a yellow board left. So, oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. I was looking for this. So we can put that in there. That's for programming that. Um, and then we got two of these. A little bit of a color clash on this board, I guess, but that's okay. Or at least the right parts. Well, yeah, I am curious what this uh, this little run program area is going to be for. Let me look this up on the site again to. Um, be sure about how this should look. Because I'm looking at the non-Pride Edition. The non-Pride Edition is just a uh, 
green circuit board, but this is like a, you know, a nice little... Let me see. Is my... Desktop chair work? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let me look this up real quick. Because this is... So this is the board that I'm dealing with. And what I would like to find out is... Let's see, 2014 the Pro. All right. This is what I this is what I bought. And then uh, that's the terminal. That's the Wi-Fi board right there. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, we can get another angle on that from a different. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That's the terminal. That's the Wi-Fi module. I can get it from this angle. Yeah, so this is this is what I'm building here. Kind of hard to see when it's a part of the whole stack. At some point I want to build this. This is the VGA module. Maybe I'll build that tomorrow. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. This is showing it with all uh, black headers. Because you see, some of these have like color coordinated, and some of them don't. Um, you know, like the blue has the blue, and oh, I guess the yellow parts could be going to the real time clock, which I do have in here. This is the real time clock. Got some capacitors. Is it the real time clock I'm thinking of? It doesn't really matter. Oh, that's a switchback. What this thing needs. Those aren't jumpers. I know I got a switch bank around here somewhere. I had just seen it. I just know once I solder all this up, I'm not unsoldering it for uh, something as silly as color coordination. I guess I got enough of these. We can use black jumpers. If I got enough for this board, if I got enough for this board, then I might just use black jumpers throughout. Made the pretty yellow ones for a different board. Wi Fi is pretty important, though. Hmm. I guess I don't have enough black left over to fully populate all that. It is nice that this, um, this Wi-Fi board has a prototyping area, if I happen to want to cobble something together on it. I had just seen the switchback. I guess I don't need it for this board. The fun thing is that as I get closer to finishing this up, I guess maybe that might have been the wrong switch because I also see a red switch in here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's my computer and if it's functional, that's what matters. So we'll mix and match some colors. Yeah, alright, so we're going to use yellow on this. Because we've got enough of them and it all matches. What's going to be fun is, um... I might have to get some painter's tape or something to tack these down so they stay in. I 
I'm gonna switch the music up. I'm gonna go over to the Commodore 60 first. Maybe. Or uh, maybe not, because it looks like... Uh, not gonna let me. Oh well. I'm not changing the music. Yeah, I'm just trying to clumsily get all these headers into the board and then figure out how the heck I'm gonna solder them in. Man. I'm normally not this clumsy at this. And then at some point I'm gonna have to find all the resistors that go in here. Maybe I don't maybe I shouldn't put them all in like this. Let's do a few at a time. And then at least they're like, they're done. <sighs> Guess this is where helping hands come in handy. I do weird crap with helping hands. Like at this point, I've got it uh, holding my solder for me. Let's see. Let's go back to that. Yeah, so I can do this kind of dumb crap. I'll just tack these in. And then I can do the bulk of the rest of the soldering and I got it upside down. Trying to get these headers in here. I can make sure they're flush and aligned and all that fun shit. That one came right out. That makes me unhappy. <sighs> Doesn't help that these are like hot little needles. Okay, how's it going? This is a really terrible stream where I'm trying to make sure all my crap works again. I just kind of started it up and didn't tell anybody. I may uh, do this more proper like tomorrow. There's like a...
it's weird seeing the thing all put together and not seeing how things are kind of assembled. Yeah, this part's going to be fun. i got to get um, three headers in here. I wonder if painter's tape will help with that. blue tech or I don't know or I just set it upside down on the workbench and hope for the best it would be heckin nice to get this done because this is the like the Wi-Fi board so then I don't need to hook up a serial port Maybe I can just align it with my fingernail and then very carefully Pack some solder here. Yeah, that's they're not very well aligned. Ooh. Ooh. That's hot. A little bit of physical discomfort for uh, assembly. Oh well. It's in there at least. What else am I looking for? I gotta find some resistors. I gotta find the correct resistors for there. And at some point I'm gonna need to put this header up. Now the board's pretty much done. Let me finish tacking those in real quick. Take my glasses off, then I can see what I'm doing. Weird, I'm uh, nearsighted, so easier for me to see crap without my glasses up close, which is annoying. All right, let's look in. Focus. I know it's not me, it's blurry. Yeah, okay, that works. I'm wondering if this thing's going to come uh, out of the box program. The, uh, PSP8266, I'm hoping that comes out of the box program to the modem. There is a header, I did just solder in a header to program it. Pretty nice if I didn't have to though. We shall see though. Yeah. All right, I've actually got to quit out here soon. It's almost 6 p.m. my time, which means it'll be uh, dinner time. I'm kind of hoping I could get the headers done on this real quick. What's funky about this is there's like a... I gotta get this row of headers into these holes that don't exactly match. Um, And what I gotta do is pull out the headers that don't match up. And kind of trim it. And I've done that for other boards. I gotta find my needle nose players, because they're the main tool I use to do this. And I don't know where I put them. Bugger. I thought I had them like in my pegboard there, but they don't seem to be there. Uh, unless I put them over there, which I don't think it did. Around here somewhere. But yeah, the idea is that I take this and then pull some of these out until this matches the pin out of this thing. I 
Do, 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 do. I guess these go on here. I'll have to double check exactly what all this does in the software. Once I've got it hooked up again, because I think I'm going to bring it back in the house and play with it. With the couch. But yeah, I will be very curious to see what all these jumpers do. Oops, a jumper on the loose. Okay, so in the picture, this is unpopulated. Let me jump over that real quick. I can kind of compare mine to that. Um, you gotta get the resistors, I got the LEDs in. Um, this part's unpopulated. That's in there, that's for programming. I got the jumper set like in the picture. Do 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 do. Oh, I guess this is this is a breakout for the ESP32 or the ESP266. All right, well, let's find these resistors real quick. I think they're in a different bin. We're looking for a uh, 2K2. We've got some of these um, labeled. Uh, there's a 1k we don't have we don't need a 1k we need um what are those none of these are what i need oh, there's a dead ant in here that's cool hmm. um, brown black red gold um, black red gold i think this is the Black, red, gold, I think this is... Okay. No, yeah, that doesn't match the picture, though. Well, I don't have my resistor bands memorized, so... <sighs> this is where I can, um, when in doubt, measure it. Well, this says this is a 1K. We don't need a 1K. Do we need 9.8k? Hmm. I have some other rogue resistors floating around. Not in that bit. orange. This is where I'm a little confused about resistor values. It's on the, the circuit board it's calling for 2k2. Um, I have 2k1. The bands don't exactly match so I don't think I want to use that part. That needs a 2k3, a 3k3, a 22k, a 10k, and a 10k. I don't know that I have all those. I must have those because he gave me all the parts to build with them. See, I'm looking at this and it's brown, black. I'm looking at this part in particular.
Brown, black, red, gold. Brown, black, red, gold. I got a brown, black, red, gold. In R2. The board says that should be a 10k. It looks like a 1k. So I'm confused between what resistors are shown up here in this picture and what resistors are, are hook screened onto the board. I know there's a schematic here. Um, and he says I get... Oh! Hmm. Hmm. It made me very confused. I have already done that. Ready? 3v3 regulator. 10k resistors times two. Yeah, yeah. 2k resistor. 33R resistor times two. This is confusing. I see, I see. Important note for 1v1 modules. R2. Okay. Well, that's what I'm confused about. R2 is shown as 10k on the silk screen. A 1K resistor should be used. Okay, well that's my answer then. I guess I, I need to read the uh, read the box. Um, so therefore, I got this resistor. Here's B a 1K. So R2. One v one schematic is here. The v one one schematic is here. Wait, what's the difference? There's one resistor difference here, but I don't know what version I have. This is 1.3. Okay. I'm very confused. Is there a 1.3 schematic? They doubt it's in this directory. Yeah, no, it's not in this directory. Let's read this. Yada yada yada. My selection header is the firmware, yada yada. The TX of the RX is routed via jumpers, which we'll are around your Wi-Fi module works. It's the uh, expected. Yada yada. Reprogram, yada yada. Mm -hmm. Well, this is where I'm very confused. I could use the schematic for that. I want to make sure I put the right... Um... I guess maybe 1.2 is what I want to... As 1.2 is what I want to look at. It doesn't list the resistor value here. Does it? No. It's just listed as R2. And I can see there's a little, there's a little difference here where the where the resistor is set. Oh boy! <sighs> and this doesn't say what version this is. Well. Yeah, I don't want to just willy-nilly have the wrong resistor in there. It'd be cool if I could see a picture of that right there. Because this is the board I have. 
and the resistors are right there. Hmm. I could get a good angle. Oh, well, here we go. What are you doing? That's what I want to see. I can make out the band. Like, okay, so this isn't a 1v1 module. Both of these colors are a little... Who decided the color bands for resistors? Because they don't show up well in a cruddy photo. Also, it looks like I used the wrong switch color. <laughs> oh well. So, no, which one? Which one used yellow? I guess that no, no. That doesn't matter all that much. So I've got a bunch of these built already. I got this built. I've got this built. I've got that built. That built. That needs to be built yet. I've got this built. I still got to build all these. I got that built. I got the clock built. That's cool. So yeah, what I'm really building is this. I'm trying to figure out what these colors are. Like, those look like three browns, but I'm sure that's not right. I'm sure there's like a, a red or something in there. But these look this, like they're the same resistor. So I'm thinking on this board, they are actually both 10Ks. And I don't know that I have any 10Ks lurking around in here. So, well, so that first one wants a 2K2, and I got a 2K1, and this looks like red, 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 gold. This is a dumb question. The difference between a 2K2 and... Okay, one. Like, you can't just swap two parts, right? Yeah. Like, it's not good enough. Can a 2K with a 2K... 2K resistor means it's like a 2.2K ohm, right? Yeah. Can I do like a 2 point... Yeah. 2K versus... Like, is it good enough? Because it's what I have. I think maybe I labeled it 2K1 because that's what it measured on my meter, but it's, it's, um, the colors are red, 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 gold. Uh, no. Red, red, gold. Oh, I see. So that's a tolerance. Tolerance is 2%. Okay, yeah, okay. So I got tolerance red. Red, red, gold. So this is, this is, this is... Still learning how to, how to read my resistor. So, okay. I guess if it had a brown first, uh, first band, that would be expected to be closer to the value, right? Okay. I knew it was something like that, that like it's good enough. Given tolerance.
Okay, so I measured these. This is like a red, red, orange, gold. Red. Red. Red, orange, gold. Is that even a thing? Like... Oh, what is this crap? Or is it tolerance? Oh, the tolerance is up top. Tolerance is on the... Um, yeah. This is annoying. The gold... Gold is always tower. Gold is plus or minus 5%. So if I've got... Red, red, red. Ugh. No, band 3 could be gold. This is annoying. But what is red? The red tolerance is 2%. So if I've got, like... What is the orientation on me? Okay, so red, 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 gold is 2k2. Red, 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 gold. I've got that one correct, at least. Um, I'm trying to figure out, like, which direction to read this. So yeah, I don't know, what does it say? This says it's 21.8. That's like red, red, orange, gold. Okay, how do we read that? Red, 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 orange. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Looking for a 22K. Looking for a 22K, we got uh, red, red, orange, gold. Which means Red, red, orange, and gold is the uh, plus or minus five percent talent. So I think that means this resistor is fine. We consider 22k for this board. Yeah, and then I think I need two 10k resistors. I think part of it is I, is I labeled the resistors with the exact measurement I found on my meter, which is not what the bands promise. But like, I got this one that I measured as 3.2k. You need to like, I need to tilt 
this workbench cam a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Alright. So I measured this as 3.2k. And yeah, it comes up on my meter. Three point two K. I need to find a good way to present that. Oh well. Three point two K. Which it looks like the bands are orange, orange, red, gold. I'm guessing the gold is the tolerance. Uh orange, 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 red, gold. Okay, okay. So this counts as 3k. Orange, orange, red. Damn it. I'm being tedious about this. I want to make sure I get the right components in here. Now resistors are a little fuzzier in their values than other parts. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm. And I gotta find a couple ten K resistors. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, I gotta run into the house for dinner soon. Well, it'd be nice if I could get these resistors in here and then like button the thing up. That's three point two. One of these. This 8k, that doesn't seem right. 1k, 2k, 1. 9.8k, okay, okay. I call this. 9.8k, which seems pretty close to 10k. Yeah, I measured this at 9.8k, which the bands are brown, black, orange, gold. So let's see. No? Mm, yep, 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 yep. So brown, black, orange, gold. Okay, that counts as 10k. Okay, brown, black, orange, gold. All right, fine. I thought I was being clever by measuring everything. Maybe I was, but... That's why when I literally look for 10K, I'm not finding 10K. That's just how it works. And this is a uh, Rev 1.3 board. 1.3 board. So the note on the site had said Yeah, okay. Brown, black, orange. Yeah, so these are both the same. The, the, the note on the site had said yeah, um, important for 1v1 modules, shown as 10k on the silk screen, 1k resistor should be used here, not to, but I don't have a 1v1, I have a 1v3, and, um, this picture shows a 10k resistor in both of them. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a little hard to see in that picture, but, um, yeah. I think I got them. I'm going to just get a look at that picture. Yeah, that's, I think I got that right. And just to be sure, I just plucked the right resistor out of my box. Yeah. This is the uh, brown, black, orange, gold. I believe that's correct.
So. I believe that's my resistor. Maybe I can solder those real quick. I'd really like to have this horn working tonight. I don't want to stop and start up again. I'd like to do a different board tomorrow. Alright. Let's solder those real quick. Bugger. No, I think the main thing after this would be the headers. There's a lot of pins. I can go through them pretty quick. Give that a quick little inspection. Yeah, good enough. Make sure I don't solder my glasses. Let me snip these leads off. Actually, I should have found this uh, this big picture of all the doors earlier because that would have been a much better help. I got some beefy players here I can use to customize this. So, th so now the part is I need to get this header in there and customized. So, I believe the one right here. These are the wrong players, these are snippers, but... I don't know where my needle nose players are. You know what? I bet my needle nose players are in the house. Which, that's annoying. But I swore I had a pair out here. These big beefy ones are a little too beefy for what I'm trying to do. do, 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 do. But gosh, it'd be nice if I could get these headers set up real quick. There we go. I'm just kind of trying to, like, mark for myself. Where to start pulling headers? Okay, there we go. Where to start pulling pins? Because the thing is, the thing I gotta do here is okay. I pulled that pin up. Now I need to go. Doop. And yank all these out. And then after doing so, this will fit in the board. Oh, crud. That one bent and it broke the plastic. Well, it's still okay. I think it'll still be okay. I'll make it work.
Applying a little too much force. And in the wrong direction. That's okay. It doesn't help that these are like big, crude, beefy, uh, like electricians players. There we go. So okay, so so pretend this didn't break. I need to get this double row of headers down, reduced to that, and then I got four more at the end to get out, and that's so that they can soldered in. Like so, and it'll be fine. I could almost do it with my bare nails, but I don't wanna. I don't really have extras of these headers, but I have boards that I'm not planning to build right away, so I could always get more headers if I need to. It'll make me sad. Come on. Yeah, there. Okay, there's one. There's one. Alright. I think I got those set. With the goal being... There. So these all... And rather than having like a, and there's always an extra one on this end, which I can snip off, but it might be there for stability, I don't know. Um, so yeah, we, we probably won't even notice that that plastic is broken. So now, I'm going to solder all these. I wonder if I can do it real quick. Because that's the last thing I have to do with this board, I think. Well, let's see if I can at least tack ends of the broken one. The bro like the, the broken sides. And then here's where I do stupid helping hand tricks. I mean, I made this little PCB vise, and it's been not the most helpful in this process, but this is where it should be helpful. So that hopefully I can get this thing all together. Part of it is, there, it's hard to keep this aligned. But once I tack a few in, it'll be fine. I think I'm going to have my helping hand hold my, uh, my soldering. And once I get it all stabilized, Maybe I can kind of call it. Okay. Where did it break? Okay, so it broke right here. I'm probably going to burn my finger doing that. Kind of don't care. I already have enough cals. Be really cool. Get this set. There we go. That is not aligned at all.
I mean, it'll also bend a bit once I get it into the, like, um, back plane. I mean, they're pretty well aligned. You almost can't tell where the brake was. I think that's good enough. I'm just gonna quickly solder all of these. I think we're I think we're good enough. There's some give in this whole thing. And then once it's in the back plane it all kinda off the line. So then you can like it you can run a a bolt or a spacer or, or a standoff the boards to kind of like force them into alignment and then once it's there it's there and the connections are made the connections are made and thinking about making a case for this thing which ideally would be transparent because of all the colors in here I should really move my solder. I'm not doing stupid things like dragging the solder all the way across the desk. And is it? Oh, it is late. Okay. Real quick. Pins. A lot of pins, but it can go fast. very cold out here. Oh, good old circle. This is where it gets a little annoying, is these like dual rows of pins. And I'm not the first one to have assembled one of these, so people have done this before plenty of times. kind of annoyed I had one of these cards I realized I had forgotten to solder an entire row these pins it still worked but uh, I think it's just accidentally because the pins were touching the holes That would have been an annoying bug to, to uncover. Almost done. What we're gonna do right here is go back. 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 Go back. Go back.
Yeah, when I started doing this, the sun was still up. So the sun's gone down and it's getting very cold out. My, uh, my workshop is unheated, uninsulated. Did I just bridge that? Let's bridge that. I hope I didn't bridge it, that was just bullshit. Okay. Actually, pretty good, I think. Give this is the last little visual inspection. Oh, that's annoying. Right there. A little errant piece of solder there. We're in pretty good shape. I don't know. Maybe I'll need to clip this pin off. Well, get it out of the vise and take a closer look at a few things. Um, the resistors are in there. The voltage thingy. I got the capacitor. So I have the wrong button. I realize this button goes to this other board. I think this button should be right there. Maybe I'll fix that tomorrow. But yeah, I think we're in all right shape. And that's gonna do it. Do so I need to do anything else? Enable link. What is, is this anything? Ah, <laughs> so that's a little uh, bumper, isn't it? He's all soldered in. Those are soldered in. Let me look at the... Hoopy doop. So... This is a little... comfort bit. Isn't it? That, right there. It's jumpered. So, I probably need to do that, don't I? What does it look like in the schematic? Enable. I have a jumper left. Maybe I don't need a jumper for it. I think I have the wrong colored LEDs in there. Yeah. Well, so he's just got a lead in there. Yeah, that's all I need. This is a part of why I keep this little jar of uh, cut off leads. It looks like. Looks like. This is just something that needs to be jumpered.
It doesn't help that I don't entirely understand the circuit. But, you know. It's okay. I kind of glance at the schematic, I kind of glance at... Um, so I just kind of jumpered that, which I think matches this. So yeah, my board looks a lot like that. So it's just soldered. I can always take it out tomorrow. I accomplished my mission. The mission being I wanted to finish his Wi-Fi board so I could go back in the house and uh, play with Wi-Fi. Yeah. I think that's looking pretty good. I don't know what it all does, but um, play it does what it's supposed to. Here's the, uh, here's the completed machine so far. These are all the boards I've gotten done to. And then uh, this one can go in right here. And hopefully when I turn it on, there's no magic smoke released. If you're watching, thanks for watching. I think I'm going to call it to a close. I might be back again tomorrow. We shall see if... Uh, I'm going to review this video and see uh, how badly I did. First time streaming since, like, September. I don't even know if half this crap is still working. Ah, uh, but that's it for now. Give me one last kind of view at this assemblage of parts. We got... Um, Compact flash, RAM ROM module, serial module, CPU module, clock module, and then now this is a Wi Fi serial interface. Point being, this should allow me to telnet into this thing um, once I've connected it to Wi Fi. And this is a, an 8 bit Z80 bit computer. I got a few more boards to build. Like, I got this, um, this is what I'm hoping to build tomorrow. This is a digital I.O. board. I can make some blinking lights and make some buttons go clicky clicky. I got a few other boards in here, some of which I don't think I need because there's like a, so this real-time clock I'm probably going to build. There's a, uh, another ROM and RAM board, but I'm pretty sure the uh, ROM RAM board I've got does that. And then there's this. This is kind of cool. This uses a Raspberry Pi Pico to give the thing a um, VGA, VGA X terminal. I think it probably does other stuff too, but we'll find out. All right. We'll uh, see you later.